I think there's a role for allografts in ACR reconstruction, specifically in the multi-ligament uh, reconstruction setting as well as in the revision setting. I think it gives you uh, good opportunities in terms of graft selection uh, and the amount of graft that you need. Um, I think also that sometimes in the older patient, potentially the less active, lower demand patient, allograft is also a good selection. In my practice, I, I tend to try and use autograft whenever possible. Typically, my practice a bone block allograft, and uh, my use of autograft um, is really expanded even into the later 30s, uh, depending on the patient, as the activity level of my patients tends to remain high even to an older age. So I tend to prefer autographs but there's definitely uh, indications for the use of allograft as well. So historically, the literature was not as good. So uh, I think early on, the allograft showed a little bit earlier and quicker recovery uh, because there's less morbidity to the surgery because you're not doing the harvest from the patient. So early on, they had less pain. The recovery early on in terms of function and range of motion was a little bit better. Um, that being said, um, over the period of time, it definitely takes longer for the allograft to incorporate. Some studies have say, said it can take up to a year. Some recent studies now say the autograft can even take up to a year uh, to really uh, uh, heal, and so the allograft may take even longer. So certainly, uh, early on, you have to be careful with your allograft patients, potentially even delay their recovery, delay their return to sports. The biggest complications with allograft is really the failure rate. So if you look at the gold standard with autograft, specifically bone block autograft as the gold standard with the failure rate, the allografts were really not able to match that. And historically, I think a lot of that was because of tissue processing. So we've had improvements in tissue processing, and so the failure rates have also come down. Um, and so it's be interesting to see with longer term studies with the new tissue processing, maybe those rates can try to approach the gold standard rates of the autograft.